Cho, cho, cho. What's going on, Seeks here? We're going to do a little Neverwinter walkthrough if you guys are down. I yeah, are down for that. Look at this big ass sword I got. That's right. I was a noob once. I really didn't know what was going on yet. Now look at me. That's right. I have a big ass helmet with horns on it. This big ass sword. My dog. That's right. That's my dog. This awesome horse. That's right. This too could be yours by watching this walkthrough. <laughs> I'm just fine. Anyway, you want to get your map easy. I'll be up. This is uh, the Protector's Enclave. This is pretty much where all the magic happens and all the goodies are at. Is right inside this big old huge building right here. This is where all the different vendors are located. This is where you'll be doing most of your spend most of your time. Now, I, I'm a weapons fighter, so I don't really need potions, but this is going to be a crucial part of the game. Come and get some healing potions. It's for five silver and fifty copper. I, I want to say pennies and nickels. And then you got your uh, gold dollars. As you can see, my currency is at about three gold, ninety-six silver, and fifty-four copper down in the left-hand corner. Now. Each vendor has different currency. The levels of currency go up, which this can be kind of hard to understand how to get the different currency. Now, these are Astro Diamonds. These are next to the highest, I want to say, currency in the game. The highest currency would be Zens. So it goes Zens, Astro Diamonds. Then the seals have an order. Different seals, which buy you different armor and such. But this is the Astro Diamonds. Now you can look at all the weapons in the vendors, or you can just look at, you know, my weapons, which are special weapons for only your guy that they have, the highest level. Or you can sell something out of your inventory, which I have a whole bunch of stuff I can sell right now. Sell these necklaces, these statues. These are unidentified items, which you can identify later on if you want to. These are just treasures that you pick up throughout the map. I might want to know this one's going. That's one of the temper of the spider treasure caches I bought with some seals that I got from killing spiders. Pretty cool, right? But every you know item you sell, they add up to your currency right there in the bottom right. Now I'm up to four gold for selling all them items. And I just keep my potions and... Ooh, I might as well... No. <laughs> I won't put them on you. I can sell them, though. Oh, yeah. Let's sell them, buddy. All right. I think I sold everything I want to sell. You guys are like, come on, get on with it. <laughs> anyway, that's the currency. Now, to get the highest currency, I didn't know how to do the daily skirmishes and such. Like, if you go to Rick's, this is your main astral dealer each day. Talk to him, he'll give you daily player versus player. There'll be three of them, skirmish and dungeon. You do these, come back to him, talk to him, he'll give you your astral diamonds. Now, you can use your astral diamonds and go up to her. Do you have and buy awesome stuff that she has with your Astro Diamond, you know, such as th these are crucial. These minor marks upgrade. Or refine your dark enchantments. Now your dark enchantments are what you put on your weapons in your character sheet. to make it more powerful so, ah, so that you, so you're upgrading not only your armor you put a new piece on if your armor can hold a spot which I believe some of them can hold up to three slots if I'm not mistaken for a utility I've seen it too I have one in my inventory right now right here the ice axe 
has a weapon enhancement slot. Pretty cool, right? So, that's your Astro Diamonds. Now, if you press start and go over to the store, here's the Zen Market. Now, I got me some no Zens right now, huh? So, to get Zens, you go to Astro Diamonds Exchange. <laughs> now, if you look at what's going on here, these are my last listings, what I did. I purchased 132 Zen for 159 each, which costed me 20,988 Astro Diamonds. In exchange for the 20,988 Astro Diamonds, I got 132 Zens. And then I went to the Zen market and bought. <coughs> Excuse me. I bought. Um, Enchanted keys, which were 125 a piece, and they don't have them today. Now they just got them for three piece or ten of them for 1,125. Huh. But this continues to go on. But uh, anyway, I want to show you guys how to get Zens by doing it. I'm gonna buy them. So unit price, they're at a buck, 158 each. All right, so if I buy a hundred of them, <coughs> I can't afford it because it'd be fifteen thousand. So if I put thirty in there. Let's see how much thirty is. Four thousand? No, can't do that. Twenty-five will be right under. How much I have down at the bottom, which will be 3,950. And I have 4,056, so I can do that. I want to post it, press A, make offer. Boom. Took my Astro Diamonds. Now, where'd it go? You have to withdraw, hit Y, 25 Zens that I just bought. So I'm going to withdraw them, press Y. Boom. I withdrew them. And it's that easy. That's how you get Zens. And then you build up your Zens. And if you need Astro Diamonds, you can <laughs> sell them on here. You can post, sell Zen. Boom. How much each? Boom. Ah. So that's how you get your currency going. Now, get into how to get Astro Diamonds. I didn't know how to get in them. Well, I didn't know how to get in the multiplayer. You know, do the daily queues and the daily skirmishes so what you do is they are in queues you want to do the level it tells you to do so you want to check your journal go to daily skirmish hmm complete the defend the village skirmish three times so defend the defend <laughs> oh, this is a long ass walker defend the village skirmish you go to Q close and defend the village. Boom. That'd be it. I have to do that three times. Then I go back to Rick's and I talk to him. Now, you can go up here to this bank. I'm just showing you around the town. <laughs> go up here. As you can see, I'm, I'm building up my Astro Diamonds. I want to unlock some uh, treasure chests that I have banked up in my banker. I have dyes in here so I can dye my clothes. I might as well take one of these out. Let me uh, withdraw this bad boy. But, as you can see, I, I have lock boxes in here that I can only open with enchanted keys that you need Astro Diamonds to buy. So I've been doing daily skirmishes and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and quo up. What do, I, what do I... I should do my dungeon. Which I think is this one. I don't think it's Temple of Spite. Let me check. <laughs> anyway, that should do you guys. You guys should be good. Daily Dungeon, Temple of the Spider. Temple of the Spider. Alright. Hope you guys, you know, get your Astral Diamonds up and just doing the campaign. Just walk through, do what they want you to do. If you get stuck on the map, hit start 
go over to I'm stuck and hit I'm stuck or defeat me and it will reset you it'll kill you that's pretty much all you need to know besides that you know level up your shizzy the seeks I'm about to fight this guard yo what you looking at punk I got a horse buddy and he likes to uh make some friends <laughs> blow that shit up oh yeah yeah